Miss Cosmo 2024 is in full motion and baby, it is causing a commotion. Now that kind of rhymes. Am I a poet? The moment we have all been waiting for is finally here. Miss Cosmo 2024 has officially started and of course, we just had the first activity of the entire pageant which is the sashing ceremony. The candidates have been in Vietnam for the past couple of days but I think that the sashing ceremony is the first time that we actually get to see them all glammed up in person, giving their best and trying to deliver the best possible first impression. For today's video, I have compiled a list of 12 candidates that in my humble opinion, stood out the most during the sashing ceremony of Miss Cosmo. Did your favorite candidate make the list? Well, watch until the end to find out. Let's go. All right, everyone, the first candidate on my list at number 12 is Peru. I thought she looked incredible in this very fashion forward gown that she selected. I think that it speaks a lot about her personality, gives away her little fashion edge. And I thought that it was a great way to stand out. Remember, session ceremony for a lot of people, for most people, especially for the media and the fans, it's kind of a first impression unless you're following the pageant religiously. So to me, this was a very clever choice, a very successful first impression. At number 11, we have Miss Puerto Rico looking absolutely incredible. I love the color of her gown. It's this very light lemon, greenish color, which is also embellished with some stones. So you get this kind of soft and delicate vibe while at the same time adding a little bit of the glam and sparkle of pageantry, right? I also love the way that this gown fits her. If you look at the waistline, baby, the waistline is waistlining. Them hips don't lie. And what else would I expect from a Boricua, right? Now at number 10, we have Miss Bangladesh and baby, let me tell you, y'all are sleeping on my girl. I thought she looked absolutely incredible. I just love, 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 love this look on her. The contrast between the green and the gold is just mesmerizing. And to be honest, I'm kind of surprised because I met her before when she competed at Miss International. And obviously Miss International has a very different look and aura to Miss Cosmo. So it's like I'm getting to discover a complete new side of Miss Bangladesh. I just love everything that she has been doing so far. And in my opinion, she's one of the strongest candidates that Bangladesh has ever sent out internationally. Yup, I said what I said. At number nine on the list, we have Miss Honduras. Once again, we have a green dress. And honestly, I'm not even mad because all of these ladies look absolutely stunning with these dresses. The dress itself is very simple, very fitted to the body, flattering to her curves. And at the same time, she added some glows to elevate the whole look with a little bit of a puffy sleeve situation, very Amanda Dudamel in a way. Um, so it's kind of a simpler, more modest version of that look. But regardless, extremely effective and she looks incredible. I mean, to me, she's a front runner. At number eight on the list, let's talk about Miss Thailand. Of course, one of the powerhouses in pageantry in Asia and in the world. It's undeniable that Thailand sends representatives that know how to stand out. This time, Thailand proved exactly my point. She looks incredible in this kind of like nude illusion with silver and golden accents that in a dress that is very reminiscent of Cher at the Met Gala in Bob Mackie. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. I think she looks beautiful and she's bringing something that is very interesting, eye-catching and fashion forward. So great way to start Miss Thailand. At number seven, I want to give props to Miss Dominican Republic who brought the heat in this beautiful red look. Honestly, I love the way that it fits her body, the way that it shows some skin, the way that it's so playful, but at the same time, so regal, so elegant. I can see that there are some golden accents in the dress, especially in the shoulder part as well as around the hip and I love the way that she accentuated that kind of continued the theme of the dress with the accessories that she's wearing as a bracelet and her earrings. She left the hair untied and honestly I love that this look is so simple yet so elevated at the same time. It's just elegant. That's what I love about it and this shade of red fits her like a glove. A plus. At number six, let's talk about Miss Guatemala. Such a beautiful girl. I'm so, so happy here with her presentation. I think that she looks absolutely incredible. When I was looking at this photo, I was wondering what is it that I like so much about it? And I think it's the contrast between the color of the gown and the hair color. It's just like a perfect mix, perfect blend, complements her so, so well. And I love that the gown is also very well crafted. When you look at it, there's a lot of attention to detail. You have kind of a nude illusion, but, on this, but at the same time, you have stones, you have these crystals hanging from the gown. Just overall, very, very nice. And even the necklace that she's wearing kind of complements the drops or the crystals that the dress has incorporated as well. So honestly, from whatever angle you're looking at it, 
very, very solid. At number five on the list, let's talk about Miss Cambodia. To me, this girl seems to be larger than life. And I guess that by just looking at her photo and her expression here, you can tell that this girl has some personality. The good news is that she matches the personality with the glam. Look at the beautiful makeup, the beautiful hair, and at the same time with the look. I mean, I just love this gown. I love the different colors, the variations, and how it all comes together to give her a very unique and elevated look. In terms of design, it's something that we have seen before on pageant stages from all over the world. It's nothing revolutionary, but also in fairness, fits her very well. And it gives us a healthy combination of covering things up while at the same time remaining a little edgy and playful. What do you guys think? Let me know if you like her look. At number four on the list, we have Miss Indonesia. Miss Indonesia is quickly becoming one of my favorite candidates. She seems to be extremely charming, other than of course, absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to say I am so pleased so far with every single look that she has delivered. I love that she's bringing her A game in terms of the fashion and just thinking of side of the box in terms of what we can expect from a delegate from Indonesia and in pageantry overall. I love the combination here of the green shades and at the same time, the pink fabric across her her hip going all the way down to the floor just absolutely amazing I love the hairstyling here it allows us to focus on her facial features brings the attention right back to the dress and honestly I'm trying to look take a closer look at this I don't know if it's a little nod a little play in terms of like Cosmo or like a galaxy type of situation in the gown but it looks incredible I wouldn't be surprised or upset if I ever see Miss Indonesia going home with a crown all right at number three on the list we have Miss Chile, looking absolutely stunning. We have another red gown here on the carpet. This one is not such a pageant gown in my opinion. It's more of a events, awards type of gown. You know, it's more regal, more elevated, less playful and showy. But for some reason, it just really works for me. Those are actually the vibes that I'm getting from Miss Chile. She is giving us the image of a very dignified woman, which I actually like. Not a lot of pageants go that route. You know, we go for glam and performance and fears and all of these things but dignified is also something that women should aspire to be and i think this just embodies that perfectly in my opinion so far she is one of the strongest latinas competing at miss cosmos so i would be so happy to see her go far and why not bring back the crown to chile chile being one of those countries that consistently sends quality contestants abroad internationally and i don't think they get the recognition that they deserve so this will be a very rewarding first start for chile at miss cosmo so go for the crown girl now at number two we have the surprise of the season miss new zealand miss frankie of course original from the philippines now based in new zealand i'm not gonna lie i was taken by surprise when she was announced to be competing at miss cosmo because originally she was supposed to go to miss universe representing new zealand but that went south it just didn't go as planned and now she's here and let me tell you I'm actually surprised because she has been such a refreshing candidate so far in terms of the looks, the personality. She has brought that little bit of Filipino flavor while at the same time staying true to her roots in New Zealand as well. So it has just been like a very unexpected and enjoyable performance for me. This gown looks incredible on her. I appreciate the attention to detail, the crystals. It's very shiny. She looks confident in it and you can tell that she's kind of feeling herself. I also really like the styling here. Uh, I can see the very typical Vietnamese hairstyle, voluminous, very grand in a way. And I think that it just shows her under the best possible light. So Frankie, girl, if this is your dream, go for the crown there's nothing stopping you all right ladies and gentlemen last but not least we have at number one surprise surprise miss philippines atiza manalo is in the house with a simple yet exquisite white dress which represents the national flower of vietnam now one thing about atiza she's gonna deliver a message she's gonna come up with a plan with a concept with a strategy and she is going to execute it and that's one of the reasons why i think that atiza really has what it takes to win the crown of miss cosmo i wouldn't be surprised if that ends up happening i've been talking to a lot of my friends in the pageant world and everyone is kind of like on the same page I think it's a teaser she might be the one i think she's gonna get it so only time will tell but in the meantime i have to say i like that she went with such a simple look i mean it's just a kind of um, 
beige undertone with then the white accents on the gown. In a way, it's kind of reminiscent of her vibe for Miss International. So I think that Atiza is trying to stay true to her core, but still elevating it and taking it to another level. She seems to be in a great mindset. So I'm just excited. I'm just happy to see Atiza doing so, so well. And hopefully she's able to come back home. Yes, because the Philippines is also my home with the crown. Get it, girl. Hmm, all right, boys and girls, and those in between, that's it for my top 12 standouts of Miss Cosmo 2024 sashing ceremony. Let me know down below if you agree with my picks, with my comments, my feedback. Is there anyone else that you would like to include on the list or that I should keep an eye on? I'll be reading you down below. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you on the next one.